there's this huge pocket in the back like Today I wanted to share a review of the Chanel Walls on a Chain and talk about why it's the perfect everyday bag. I'll share five ways on how to wear it based on the chain configuration, which shows how versatile this bag actually is, show you what fits in it, talk about price history, and lastly, where to buy it. Okay, I'll start off with a general product review and talk about general characteristics of this bag. So I have the black leather bag in caviar calfskin and that's opposed to lambskin. Caviar calfskin is a lot more sturdy and hardier and so I think it makes a great everyday bag because it can just take more aggression even though you're not supposed to be aggressive with it. But what I mean is lambskin is a lot easier to scratch. With caviar calfskin, I personally don't have to worry about that, which is really great. I have this bag in the silver tone chain as opposed to the gold tone chain. When you buy any Chanel product, it comes with a serial number so you know that it's real, thank God. <laughs> And in comparison to the other Chanel classic flat bags, the wallet on the chain is on the smaller end, which is why I think it's also so versatile because when you wear it, you don't feel it on. But depending on what your personal style is and how functional you want the bag to be, you might go for a larger or different style of bag. In terms of the chain length, it is 24 inches long, 4.75 inches in height, 7.5 inches in width and 1.25 inches in depth but this fits surprisingly more than you would think and I will show you exactly what I mean later in this video. Okay, one of the main reasons why I love this bag is because you can wear it in five different ways. The first way of wearing this bag is just by having it full length. I'm 5'3 and I look it's long. However, if you're wearing a dress or an oversized sweatshirt or a long sweater, I think it can be a very elegant look. If you're taller than 5'3", you probably won't have this problem. Which brings me to the second way of wearing this bag, by reducing the length. What I do is I'll loop the bag around this way. And with this reduced length, it looks much better on someone who's 5'3". I personally really like wearing this crossbody because it gives it kind of a boy bag, crossbody messenger kind of look. It's so small and light that you don't feel it against your body. So technically, if you rock me, I wouldn't even notice. The third way of wearing it is by shortening the strap and double looping it so that it acts as a very casual mini shoulder bag. You do it by having these two double straps come out like this and it's looped on the inside. When you wear it like this, it's a very casual running errands kind of look. This almost gives me a Brandy Melville type vibes. You know what I mean? Like the little... <laughs> I know that at times Chanel can be kind of pretentious. Sometimes I'll wear it like this to hide that it's Chanel. Is that sad? I don't know. That's kind of sad. <laughs> okay. The fourth way to wear this bag is as a fanny pack. And you're probably like, what the f***? But let me put you onto this because it has been so convenient, especially if you're visiting a big city, walking around all day. You put this around your waist, right? So it's like, you know, like around your waist. So what you do is you tie the chain strap and because it's a chain, it'll stay in place. And then you shove it in and then theoretically it's around your waist. I love wearing it this way, flat against your waist, because it's kind of like a belt bag and you don't have to worry about it swishing around as you would if it were around your shoulders. Okay, and the fifth way of wearing this is by holding it as a wallet clutch. This is pretty straightforward. It's just hiding all the straps so that you can hold it like a clutch. I personally never used it this way because I would leave it somewhere and I would lose it, like a water bottle. If you're wearing a dress or you wanna show off your outfit more, then holding it like this is pretty casual. Okay, now let's move on to product details and specificities and what fits in this bag. It fits surprisingly more than you would expect. When I bought this bag, I bought it because of the way it looks, not for its functionality. There are so many pockets in this bag that one time I put my credit card in the bag and I literally thought I lost it because I couldn't find the pocket. Because I didn't realize that pocket was there. So I'm gonna start with the most exciting part of this bag in my opinion. There's this big pocket in the back that fits so much stuff. My entire hand going in this, like, there's this huge pocket in the back that extends the entire length of the bag and you can fit so much. I can literally fit my tampon and band-aids in here. You know exactly how important those two things are. I have stuff in here. 
have a Pikachu band-aid. Okay, so now let's talk about the second largest set of pockets. In the front here, when you just open it, there are three pockets, one with a zipper. And the thing I like about these three pockets is that they're very tight and like, when I put cash and credit cards in here, I'm never afraid of it falling out because there's nowhere for it to move. The zipper also makes it very secure to put valuable items in. For example, I have free ice cream card, which is smitten ice cream. Yes. And $5. Oh, nope. $10. Okay, lastly, we have the large inner pocket and then against the back wall, I guess I'll call it the wall, there are six card holders. And then lastly, we have this back pocket. It's pretty wide. I usually put a Metro card or a folded up mask in the back. So again, very versatile. In terms of the actual interior and what it holds, you can fit two phones in here. Or what I usually do is you can fit one phone, one set of small keys and a chapstick which I think is the perfect amount of things that you need when you're going out for the day. I also really want to touch on price history. So I did some research and in November 2018, this bag was around $2,500 at retail price. The price before that was $2,100. So I'm assuming this bag was $2,100 in 2017. And today, as of July 2022, it is worth $2,950. And I'll talk about where I bought it and how much I personally bought it for at the end of this video. Okay, Alana, I'm gonna talk about it now because we are at the end of the video. Um, okay, I purchased this bag from the real real store in san francisco i bought it for 2900 in mid 2021 it was used and close to new condition and so you're probably wondering linda why did you buy a used bag for 2900 when the retail price is 29.50 for a new one and the answer is because demand is so high for this bag that if you wanted to buy it from the Chanel boutique or an actual store or an even Marcus and buy a brand new bag, it's probably gonna be a wait list and you have to get on the wait list through a sales associate there. The second reason why I was willing to buy a lightly used bag is because these bags appreciate in value. One, due to consumer demand and two, because Chanel raises their prices periodically, which raises the overall value of the bag. So I felt okay buying something that was slightly used because I knew that it was going to grow in price if I were to sell it in the future. And looking on their website right now, this bag used is 2,800 to 3,200. So it's grown in price since I purchased it. Okay, so there are three places where you can buy a Chanel bag. One is at the actual Chanel store and you can find these usually in the downtown areas of large cities and obviously a ton scattered throughout Europe. If you wanna know how to get these bags at a discount due to VAT tax refunds, I talked about it in my Cartier review video here you could potentially save hundreds on this bag. The second place you can buy Chanel bag is at department stores that carry Chanel items like in Neiman Marcus. And thirdly, you can also find these bags at a trusted luxury consignment store like The Real Real or Fashion File. Final thoughts on this bag. I think it's a perfect everyday bag because it's small, lightweight, and pretty sturdy. Since buying it pretty much a year ago, I've worn it every week, if not multiple times a week. I don't have a single scratch and the quality hasn't deteriorated in any way. This bag is extremely versatile and matches with everything you wear and I'll probably be investing in more Chanel bags throughout the next few years. All right, hope you enjoyed this video and talk to you next time. Bye.